be working at Foot Locker. And now it seems like these ladies got till five to get out the ring. Nice little boot to the mush. As I'm not sure, got Aya back into the right corner, I think. And a uh, nice little inverted scoop slam by Aya. And an elbow for good measure. Kelly into a little weak. Oh, I think Homegirl just got her face rearranged and her jaw dismembered. I mean, and her mind dismembered. <laughs> but I'm surprised that she can barely even think straight with that move. Another chop block. Or simply... I mean, eh, fuck. Nice little shoulder drag right... I mean, nice little shoulder block right there. Throw to the rope. Another shoulder drag. I mean, shoulder block. Whatever. I'm boxing left and right, and this is only the first match. And a nice little Oklahoma slam. But the ref is high on cloud nine, I guess. Or she's, I mean, or he's probably distracted by Sia while he's not getting the damn count out. Come on, Monahan, do your fucking job or else you'll be fired. Uh oh. Nice little move right there. I won't call it by its regular name, but I don't know what the hell they call it, so. <laughs> nice move, but it only got two. Nice little kick to the back of the head. And it seems like Electric Psychotic are firmly in control right now. Pop to the eyes, the dirtiest heel trick in the book. Throw to the road, actually to the corner. Nice little shoulder block, or whatever, knee to the jaw, I attack in acid, and this could be the breaking point that these two need. Back to the first dialogue. See, you know, I don't know what DC People's Champ and A. Matt call their finishing move. Nice little hip toss right there, and an inverted one for good measure. Nice little roundhouse kick. And it feels like she's going for high risk, but it got her no reward. Nice little back through flex by April Acid. Jawbreaker by Silar. Nice little kick with good, I mean, with great ease from Silar as she tags back in Electra. Let it drop by Electra. And a nice little Helm's neck breaker. Right to the eye. And I think she just sent her flying so high she can see the maple leaf on the bottom of the friggin' jumble tribe. Never saw it walk slam by April Asses. And it seems like this match is going at 110 miles per hour, but it just might reach its conclusion here. Bump. <laughs> Throwing her to the corner. Could this be it? And I don't know what the hell Eddie Joseph and TC People Champ call this move, but it's pretty damn effective. But then again, I think it's also a tribute to Johnny A. And it seems like that this one is over. Time of the match, 11 minutes, 30 seconds. Sports Entertainment Extreme, albeit with a whirlwind tour this past month, picked up the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, we got more action coming up. I'll be back with a better match to call later on in the show. In the meantime, here's some ass to cheer you up until then. Later. <laughs>
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Brian Henniger here along with my broadcast colleague, Jeff, bringing you this next match here on CCL 12, number six. And the way right now is Miss Giovanni. Yep, Sophia Giovanni is coming down to the ring, folks. Yeah, there she is. Right. There she is, this Italian superstar. If I may be so bold, she's about as yummy as a big plate of pasta bazoo, if you know what I mean. Well, that is my favorite pasta. Yeah, more of a, yeah, I like lasagna myself. <laughs> and uh, Juliet Starling is going to accompany her to the ring. Yeah, so I remember from CCR Journaling, that was her first win in her career in a journaling by Juliet Starling. I'm so ready to start her match in the tonight. All right, and this one ought to be one exciting comp competition. Oh, my man, she's good at the lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> So like favorite. Mario and Luigi are here. <laughs> oh, I wish they were here. Yeah, me too. Anyways, here comes Tammy and here comes her opponent. Oh boy, this is not good. She is not. Making her way to the ring, these fans telling her exactly what she feels about her. Juliana Fontana. Oh man. There's the paparazzi getting a good look at her. Yeah, along with Tammy. One of those pictures will be on TMZ before the end of the evening. You and I can know that for sure. Let's bring it TMZ around the world on CTO. Juliana's going to face on Sophia tonight. She's got crazy for that game tonight on pole. Well, we'll do one exciting matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all the reaction the fans are having against Juliana. Let's see how this one goes against Sophia tonight. All right. Now, just left the ring, and the match is about to get started. Well, Bell has signed We are underway, and here we go. And there comes Sophia, European uppercut right there. And oh, there she goes out of the ring. <laughs> so, Sophia Giovanni's got a lot of athletic ability. Right now, they need time to think right now. Juliana's back in the ring, and here comes her action. She's got oh, a big bolo kick there, and she's just going to work right now. Folks, want to make sure you guys do not forget. Coming up later on this evening, we're going to have ourselves one heck of a main event for the Women's Championship of the CCL. It's going to be the Tomb Raider herself, Lara Croft, taking on the billion-dollar babe, Meredith Clark. And that's going to be one matchup. Oh, yeah, it's going to be one heck of a matchup. You said that right, Brian. And there it is. Oh, look at this pump handle. Oh, oh nice dust. one. Here comes Sophia's pin, and it's can this two, be? No, one count. Bit too early, in my opinion. Yeah. Fans, want to thank you wherever you might be joining us around the world here to see Pulse Episode Six. Brian Hinder here again with my yeah. illustrious tag team partner Death here in the broadcast booth. Great to have you, Brian. An honor to be here with you, and now, oh, look at this, oh, oh, with a nice uh, sort of a flapjack maneuver there, starting to take control of this matchup. That was a good one. Irish whip. Oh, oh goodness. That's one heck of a kick. Yeah, sort of shades of the Lucha Libre style there, that Lake Lariato. Pushes her in the turn buckle. That's what she has. She's you know, folks, this turn up has a foam rubber covering, and it's not really all that thick. You still feel it when you get thrown into one. Oh, look at this! Oh, an arm breaker there from Fontana onto That's Juliana. Up. Oh! Her inside out with that clothesline. Somebody's getting your ass on! Oh, oh there's Juliana the Starling up on the ring apron. That's not good. Oh! She has to be careful. Now here comes Sophia. Oh, go oh, look at it. from Sophia. There she goes. Cover. Cover one. Cover. No. Only gets a one count here, folks. Still far too early in this matchup. All right now, Sophia grappling hook. Now here comes Juliana. Juliana got her. And what's she doing? A cross arm breaker! Arm and rope break! I thought I was gonna say arm bar, but no, rope break. Pushes on the turnbuckle. Hitting her in the back. 
And oh, here comes Sophia. Come back right there. Right there. A good matchup, ladies and gentlemen. On Montana, the rope, she comes out. Leapfrog over by Giovanna. Oh, 